Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your August 2021 love read. This reading is for Gemini. So Gemini, um, we are going to do past, present, and future situations regarding love. Um, we have a couple of cards here. We're going to get a destined love oracle card or two, a white rose guidance divine love message or two, um, Island Time Wellness card, it's a Love Oracle card, and then the Heart Songs card, which is a, a song lyric um, by Celestial Forecasts by Harry. Uh, and if we need to clarify, I will be using the Gilded Tarot deck, um, which will all be in the description box below. If this doesn't resonate with you, Gemini, please uh, check your moon or rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon or rising signs are, then you can go ahead and look in the description box and there's a website that will take you to, uh, uh, there's a link for a website that will take you, there's a link that will take you to a website um, where you can put your information in to get your moon and rising. Sometimes those resonate a little bit better. All right, Gemini. Um, let's see what we got going past, present, and future for Gemini. Oh no, Gemini. The future looks a little rough. Um, oh yeah, and on the bottom of the deck too. The Eight of Swords. Mm. Interesting. The Queen of Wands is on the bottom of the deck too. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So Gemini, we have you currently sitting in the as the King of Pentacles. Um, very focused perhaps on finances and work, very stable, grounded. Um, you are kind of slow moving, just focused kind of on work. Um, but there is a, like a kind of like a, a celebration card here. So um, some readers say that the Three of Cups could be a third party situation. Um, but to me, I usually read it as like a marriage, a proposal, a celebration. So perhaps in the past, um, you had lots of happiness, marriage, celebration, and engagement. It was kind of a slow moving thing. Um, but you kind of show up as this very stable, grounded situation. Or perhaps you were in a very stable, grounded, slow moving situation. Um, you tell me, Gemini. I don't know. For your present, looks like you have a lot of options. Um, so perhaps you were in a pretty solid relationship and now currently you are being presented with a lot of different options. Um, lots of choices, lots of people, and you have an opportunity for a new start. In general tarot, this would be a new start in like finances, new job, stable finances. But here would be a new grounded, stable start in love, which is going to require patience, temperance, um, or Sagittarius, so Sagittarius. Temperance is uh, patience, balance. And your future looks kind of rough. So we're going to get a couple more cards, I actually. These two were on the bottom of the deck, so I'm going to add those, but I'm going to clarify this in a minute. Um, I'm not sure, Gemini. We kind of go from a stable situation to lots of choices to very sad, sad situation. You have the Six of Swords. You're moving on to calmer waters due to a heartbreak or some sadness. You're leaving something behind, um, and you're feeling kind of stuck up in your head. So like it's a self-imprisonment. So you're definitely walking away from something. Are you walking away from your stable past? Are you walking in away from someone in your present? Um, but then this Queen of Wands, I think this card follows you, Gemini. Um, this Queen of Wands could be a fire sign. Leo. Leo, it usually reminds me of a Leo. Um Aquarius, uh, Aries or Sagittarius. Sagittarius came up twice, but, um, you're definitely leaving something behind. So are you leaving behind this Leo 
or is this Leo something that you're going towards from what you leave behind? So let me just um, clarify this future situation, see if we can get some clarity. Future Gemini future. What are they? What is this? All this sadness and heartbreak and walking behind. Five of Swords, which is like that conflict card. Lots of conflict. Perhaps with someone you work with, the Three of Pentacles is the teamwork card. Or someone that you were working with. Uh, and you also have the King of Wands. <laughs> so when I see two suits, or the suits, King and Queen, kind of pop up to me, that's like a, a twin flame divine connection. So... So the cards, so these two cards are kind of on their own. They both are wands. They're both fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate cards. Lots of um, very sexy, just romance, but not so much. Yeah, romance, passion, just fire. Lots of fire here. So you got the king of wands and the queen of wands. To me, they're uh, divine counterparts. Soulmates. Perhaps twin flames. Um, all the other cards are cards, uh, well, team, the Three of Pentacles is like a teamwork card, but, um, so this could be related to someone at your work or someone you're used to kind of putting in teamwork, but, um, you got the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords, lots of swords, um, lots of in your head thinking, lots of conflict, walking away from something, lots of sadness and heartbreak, so, unfortunately, I think, um, you're having all this sadness, heartbreak, Due to this conflict, competition, um, somebody's kind of trying to win at all costs. So they're doing whatever they can do to get what they want out of a situation, which is bringing lots of sadness. Um, but then we have these two fiery characters that balance each other out. So I think I think there's going to be some some treacherous stuff coming up, but I think overall you're going to have this fiery, passionate connection. I don't know if that's who you're walking away from or that's what you're going to get after you walk away. So let's get a couple Oracle cards to see what, if anything, kind of clarifies or validates or um, goes along with the story. Sometimes these Oracle cards, these are... Destined Love Oracle Cards. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure who makes them. I think I got them on Etsy. I'm going to do some searching. Up. This is what they look like on the back. Um, to put the information in the description box below who makes them. But they're called Destined Love Oracle. Sometimes they resonate. Sometimes they don't resonate. Well, hmm, Gemini. So we have lessons. So perhaps you are learning some very big lessons. You're definitely moving. You're moving away from a situation, right? You're walking away. You're moving on to calmer waters. There's definitely movement in this situation here. And looky here, marriage. So, you know, Gemini, you tell me I like to be kind of a happy ending type of person. So my thought is you are moving away from all this chaos to this divine love connection that could result in a marriage. Or perhaps you're ending, you're moving away from your marriage because it's just like explosive, too fiery, and you guys aren't being compatible. I don't know. You tell me. Maybe you're married to a fire sign. Or maybe you're going to be married to a fire sign. All right. So we are going to get an Island Time Wellness Love, um, love Oracle card. Apparently we're getting, apparently we're getting three of the, I think it's three. Yes, the chaser, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation or meeting, and an and engagement ring, um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. <laughs> yeah, I think you're the chaser or someone's chasing you. It is a destined connection. I think it's this fire reconnection, engagement ring, and then a marriage. That's what I think, Gemini. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, we're going to get two cards from the White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. Um, 
We'll see what your person has to say to you. This could be the person from your past, present, future, whatever kind of makes sense to you. But we'll try to get two cards um, from your person. Perhaps. But they want to come up. They want to come up. One more for Gemini person. Well, they like to talk. So um, thank you for your beautiful presence in my life. I love your sense of humor. And I was not looking for something like this. Holy tamole, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, so just, just in case you're with somebody, I don't want you to freak out and think, oh my gosh, it's going to fall apart. Maybe there's just going to be a lot of crap you guys have to go through together to kind of balance stuff back out and um, stabilize to get your marriage or your commitment, your engagement, whatnot. Um, so maybe it's not like a different person. Maybe it's just getting your ducks in order. But I think you're going to have lots of options or you might have lots of options in the current moment and could potentially have a new start, Gemini. All right. So we are going to get one more card. Um, this is one of my favorite decks. It's Heart Songs, Songs in the Key of Love by Celestial Forecasts by Carrie. Um, this deck is just um, song lyrics. So if this song resonates with you because it's a song that reminds you of a certain person, it's a song about your past, it makes no sense to you, but the lyrics make sense of the read, it could be um, lots of different things. So let's see what we get for Gemini in Love. Gemini's in love. She also has a 90s deck of this, um, which I love because 90s are my favorite genre of music and I'm a total lyric person. So this is Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. <laughs> well, all right, Gemini, that's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic August. Um, until next time, you guys, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.